There was a period one wave ago, two waves ago, where we would all play this, you know, as an amateur, we would play this idea of comparing death trend to cases trend. We now have a point where cases are flat or even elevating up a little bit, even as we see continued good news on deaths in America. Do, is there a concern that we'll link like we did eight months ago, where deaths will come up and rise again with cases, or have we finally separated the two? Well, the, the fact that we've immunized, particularly here in the U.S., such a large percentage of our vulnerable populations, uh, the elderly healthcare workers who are exposed to the virus so much more frequently, uh, that should have a major effect on our fatality rate or hospitalization rate, um, less so on the case rate because we still um, haven't immunized enough of the general population. So there should be a disconnect between the case rate and the fatality rate. Uh, however, the emergence of these new variants seems to be shifting the demographics of not only cases, but also of the severe cases to a much younger age group. Yeah. So that makes it a little bit questionable in terms of how much of an effect we'll see on yeah. the fatality rate. And we will now stop the show and recapitulate a thought of the week, because this is really, really important. Dr. Pekos, when you see 38,000 people at a Texas Rangers baseball game, and they are the youth of America, I want you to explain the risk of this virus to people who won't die. Uh, Tom, when you said that, I, I, got, I, I literally got chills down my spine. Uh, John Farrell exactly says that all the time, by the way. Farrell <laughs> repeatedly says that. Uh, but these are exactly the situations that we cannot put ourselves into at this stage in the pandemic. Uh, the case numbers are extremely high. And, and not to get too technical, but when case numbers are high, surges turn into exponential growth as opposed to linear growth when we, what we, is what we see when we, case numbers are low. So we don't have enough time to respond to a surge when we start at a very high level of cases because they, it quickly gets to a stage where the case numbers are unmanageable. So we have a few weeks now, and or maybe even two months at most, where we need to keep our public health interventions in place while we're vaccinating the general population. We're doing such a fantastic job of vaccinating people in this country, but we need the other tools to keep the case numbers down. Otherwise, we're going to find ourselves in a situation where we have variants springing up everywhere, and we're going to lose the advantage that we have with the vaccine.